that um, I have to thank and have given us a go when I got here. You know, um, we didn't actually plan a ride when I got here at the start, but um, I'm glad they gave us a go, yeah, so. You can have a couple of seconds for some quick thank yous. Um, <laughs> I'd like to thank me. <laughs> um, no, I've, um, Gra Graham and Denise Faulkner have been a big, um, a big part of me having the success here. Um, I live with them and they keep bringing me back over every year. I don't know how they put up with me, but um, no, I've been, and Ross Elliott, yeah, who gave us the first go here. I had four winners from the first season I was here, so um, yeah, those are the two, the two main players, and I suppose whoever else gave us a winner between then and now, yeah. Well done, ladies and gentlemen. The jumps jockey of the year is Richard Kelly. The winner of the 2010-2011 Jockey of the Year is James McDonald. It's Marinka tackled by Dancing Chess and here comes Scarlet Lady. Scarlet Lady burst in her lead. She's got the Travis all parceled up. Scarlet Lady. James McDonald, he was getting a little nervous coming towards her home turn, but he's managed to weave a path through on the fully by Seven Bill. 207 winners, a new New Zealand record, a new benchmark for excellence, 14 black type races, $2.9 million in stakes earnings. We can talk a lot about the season just passed, but uh, I bet you're very excited about the season ahead. Yeah, for sure. Like, um, a lot of Australian trainers are giving me a go over there, and uh, it's just a matter of time when I move, and um, I'm really looking forward to the season ahead of me, especially with Scarlet Lady tomorrow. Um, she looks very hard to beat, so, uh, and with her heading over to Melbourne for the spring, uh, hopefully land one of those big cups. So we'll see more internationalisation of James McDonald? Let's hope so. Um, I still, I'd love to stay here for a little bit. Um, I've had a lot of support from Pencaro Racing and, uh, and my sponsors, Greg and Pauline, and uh, one person that's definitely sticks out of mind is Gary. Uh, he's been the backbone of the whole operation, so I've uh, got to thank all of them guys. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we know what a professional he is. James McDonald, the proud bearer of the title of our champion jockey for the past season. Dunstan Feeds Trainer of the Year is um, Michael Pittman. Yeah. And at Kura on the 30th of December, he trained four winners. On New Year's Day, just two days later, he trained six winners. Two days after that at Omaha, he trained three winners. And two days after that at Reefton, he trained three winners. He's an incredible trainer. Michael Pittman, congratulations. Didn't knock off the record. That's what I know you're aiming for, but a hell of a 12 months. Oh, yeah, but um, all, all said and done, it'd been nice to break the record, but um, I mean, records are only personal things, and um, I'm sort of paid to do the best job, and sometimes um, you've got to wait a wee bit for the better money too. So, um, no, it'd been great to do it, but we've held short, but it doesn't matter. I'm very proud of what we did. Your special moment? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> I used to pick up tickets at Rickett and Racecourse. You know, to be up here, it's great. And it gives me great pleasure, as an owner of many years, to announce the 2010-2011 Owner of the Year as Shumani Investments. starting to put in the big ones. Look at Jimmy Chu. He raced up on the outside. This is an outstanding win. Jimmy Chu beat Retrieve. Third home with Shamrock. Let's soak it up as Jonathan Riddell brings back Jimmy Chu after taking out the Flinders Lane Rose Hill Guineas. Congratulations, enormous congratulations. You're now the owners of the year, owner of the year. And your season really doesn't end, does it? You just keep having thrill after thrill, all compliments of Jimmy Chu. It's been, a, it's been an amazing time, uh, one that you really can't describe or, um, or imagine, to be honest with you. Uh, people will say I've got the most uh, vivid imagination in the world. I don't think I could have ever, ever imagined this. And like Michael Pittman, I started picking up TAB tickets at Rickon and he must have got the better ones, so perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, been a long, it's been a long journey, a very exciting journey. And um, it's very difficult to describe, but this is uh, a thrill of a lifetime. I don't think the journey's over yet either, Liz. Um, I won't ask about your shoes. <laughs> no, they're not. <laughs>
No, they're not, but the horse certainly is. Ladies and gentlemen, the owners of Jimmy's Shoe, Shimani Investments, our owner of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me to announce the winner of the 2010-2011 Champion Jumper. And the Champion Jumper is hypnotised. Can you believe he's in the history books now of New Zealand racing? Um, not really, no, no, to be honest, no, no definitely not. Um, we've been just happy to win one, Northern, so to win three it was a great thrill and just unbelievable. Are we having a crack at another one? Yeah, we are, so yeah, no, we're just happy to get him there really, so hopefully we can get him there next week and hopefully he can perform up to you know what he's done in the past, but you know, we'll just be happy and just hopefully he races well, so you know, we're not